everybody again and welcome to another episode of Proxy 691. I am your host Mike. I got a decent show planned for you today. Please like and subscribe to the program coming in the hottest on the ground. That is Proxy Review underscore 691. Have we got a show for you? And we have uh, Redley the Bear uh, that is with us uh, again to uh, share some her thoughts. of. We don't know what's in this package. It just came. Uh, could be from someone. Could be. We don't know. It's a mystery package. So sit back and uh, grab a drink or two. Enjoy the review. Today we have a Guayaki. Shout out to Guayaki. Uh, they're on sale right now at my store because uh, people weren't buying them for $3, but apparently they lowered the price and they're buying them. So just a FYI, Gaki, I know Guayaki, I know times are hot uh, and times are hard, uh, but uh, give Associated Foods a Christmas card, something like that. Mm. This is made with the yum berry for, it's very good. Uh, but we'll see what's in this package. Let's see what we're going to review today. Redley, what do you think is in this package? I don't know. Man, that yum berry is good. This thing came on our doorstep. It, ooh, I think. Where's it from? Oh, it's Timu. It's Timu Hall. So this is a Timu Hall. You have water balloon launcher. We're not going to open that one today because that's for another day. There's probably cheap water balloons in it too. So there's a water balloon launcher here. Unboxing time. It's everybody's favorite time. What do we have here? The science kit. Portable microscope. Probably broken. Look at that. I'm going to use it. Portable microscope. What's this? Oh, is this part of the water balloon launcher? This might be a partial order. So this is the part of the water balloon launcher, I'm pretty sure. Or something like that, yeah. Anything for the yard? I thought there was a yard tool coming. Oh, there is a yard tool. Yeah, there's a yard tool. Yeah. Okay, so there's a yard tool. We're gonna put it to the test. Because uh, on this show, hey, what's that, Redley? I thought you said yard pool. Oh, no, that's up to influencer if they want to give us a yard pool. They, we would like the yard pool. So if they, that's if they decide they choose us. So they might not, I don't know. Because uh, your aunt uh, got a pool. And so maybe they think that we had our pool, but that was at her house. Uh, so there's, we got the grand microscope, which is crushed. Thanks Timu for that one. That should be a good hit. Uh, and then we have the water balloon launcher. Hopefully the kids don't get in trouble for that. Uh, this is a yard tool. Redley, let's unbox this. What do we got here? What kind of yard tool is this? Ooh, it's another, we have to look at the demo on this. What do we got? Look at that. Uh, now, uh, Nick Renahan, see. if you're out there, comment on the weld on that one because that one I looks can't, subpar. I can't see. Uh, of course you can't see. Here, I'll have to show it to you in the background. Look at the back. See that? It's a yard tool. Ooh. So we're gonna put this thing to the test. Oh, look at that. I still can't see Nick, check out that bad welding. You, so one of the things I'm seeing on here, these little pieces, you're gonna poke your finger on that. So you're gonna have to get the sander and you're gonna have to sander sand this down. This gonna this is gonna uh, rip your finger. Redley, one of the things I'm seeing on this tool right now is that I'm seeing that it has it's not been sanded down, and uh, you can there's shards of metal and you can cut your fingers on that. That's not good, Redley, is it? No. No. So bad on Timu, and it's crushed right. Cut his leg with glass one time. So I don't know how they made this, but what should I say, my dude? I'm gonna put this thing to the test because I see the the crack on the weld right there. I think that you could break this, possibly. Now, we, we we have to put these things through that because that's what we honestly do as we test. Uh, this is pretty sharp right here. Uh, so we're going to see, we're going to look at the demo, how they say to use the tool because we like to see how they say to use it and then we're going to use it. So we'll get back to you in two and two. Get, get, Redley, do you have anything else to say before we move on? I played the soccer game. Oh, you played the soccer game? Did you guys win? I won one. I can't remember who won the second one. Yeah, it was good. Okay, so according to the Timu video, this, this it's supposed to take out invasive <laughs> weeds. Okay, so according to Timu, uh, this takes out some of this uh, underbrush that's here. And this is some of the most invasive uh, weeds that we have here as far as this. So uh, you could see, like I was talking about on camera, the the you're gonna cut your finger on that, so you gotta be really careful. So that's a flaw right there. It knocks it down a few stars. Um, but let's see, the guy on the show does it, and he says that it takes out, gets up a lot of dust, obviously. But he's saying that it gets out pretty easy, and 
Yeah, it does. You just got to watch your fingers so it doesn't get cut. So the problem is, obviously, you're spreading seeds around. So it's going to come back. So it works decent so far. Minus that you might have to wear some gloves right here because that the weld is poking out. So something to improve upon. <clears throat> so it passed that test. Let's go to the invasive grass. Here's some more invasive weeds. Works great on this. Ugh. Except for the dust, huh? Yeah. The dust is no me gusta. I don't like the dust. Okay, so it works good on that. Yeah, because there used to be plants right here, and now there's Oh, more. those aren't plants. Those are freaking well, noxious weeds. Yeah, noxious weeds. Okay. Right here we have some foxtails. Let's try it on the foxtails. Oh, it's actually working kind of good. Didn't have the hurt, if it didn't have that little pieces of metal right there, it would work great on, work better. But it's, <laughs> it does good against foxtails. See? Yeah. Oh, watch your finger. So I would have to say, on this, people, it's, it's actually working pretty good, good on foxtails. Look at that. Yeah. Some foxtails got in my hair. It's going to grow. Yeah. You got that. Gets it by the root right here. There you go. I would say a cold. stick would work for these, but no, they wouldn't. So there you have it. It takes out foxtails. Right by the root. So here's another challenge, guys. This is the quack grass right here. Now, if it's gonna hold up, you could see that the quality there, and uh, Nick, the professional welder, look at this, that he's gonna question all that. And it's possible that it could hold up over time, but you could see the weld right there is, it's sketch, but this is a tough plant. And so this is one of the most noxious pieces of grass, field grass, barnyard grass barnyard quack and this tool is still taking it whether it lasts or not we'll see but this is one of the tough tests the problem is like i said is you have these little guys right here that are impeding and they're going to cut your finger so that's what knocks it down a star now it's not made for quack grass but i just did it because i'm trying to show i'm i test everything on the show we test 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 we're always testing all the time so, I could just pull it out, I think. You can see it's even taking it out. So you're going to have to give them to them on this. Let me just go. This tool is holding up to some serious grass. Uh, what would you say, Red Lee, on this as far as rating-wise? Would you give it an 8? An 8. If my fingers weren't just getting poked... I wouldn't have a problem, but it's just because of that weld. So see that? That's thick, nasty barnyard quack grass root, field grass. Ugh. And if it's taken out this, that's almost better. That's almost better than your average like hoe that you can get at Home Depot, Home Depot, whatever you want to call it. So I would have to say that this, as long as the weld holds up, let's look at. Let's look at that. See, it's holding up pretty good, but over time, will it? Maybe, it might. So, don't make it a dog show. Please like and subscribe to the program. More product reviews coming every day. And good night good now. Day. A little bit of spring cleaning. Let's see how it works on this. Luckily, nobody's home. Here you go, nobody's home, guys. Takes even that out. So what I liked about the product was that it takes care of serious, nasty, invasive grass. Uh, what I dislike the product about the product and what I would improve, make sure someone sands these down, these pieces down right here. Make sure we get all that off. These little pieces, they'll cut your finger and hurt your thumb and then possibly could get an infection. And uh, that's, that's what I would do and improve it, maybe improve the weld a little bit, but...